A woman around 27 years old named Kim Wagen was sitting on her marital bed, still wearing her wedding gown. She kept clutching the sheer material of her white gown, indicating she was nervous. Why wouldn't she? After all, just a few hours ago, she was forced into marriage with her ex-boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend whom she had left years ago, her ex-boyfriend who was just her boss few hours ago. But now, now he is her wedded husband. Who gave me work? You offered me to be your secretary, but every day, every hour I had spent being your secretary, I had to endure your insults every day. Insults which were never results of my work as your secretary. You insulted me because of our past relation. I still endured it every bit of it due to you being my boss. But now. Was a few minutes of humiliation worse than having to spend your life with the one you detest? Insert. A tear left her eyes as she thought all this while sitting on her husband's room, a room which walls were familiar with her their laughter and togetherness few years back. A room which walls had witnessed merciless words she said while breaking up with him few years ago. Why are you sitting in my room? Quinn flinched a little after hearing her now husband's sudden cold voice. She looked at him, who was just came out from the shower wearing his night suit. His freshly showered hair making the man in his late twenties look eternal. I had asked you something, Wagen. I didn't told you to cock at me," he coldly said while throwing his wet towel on the sofa. Because you seem to be forgetful, you forced me into marrying you unless you would have snatched my job from me. That's why I am sitting here as your wife. You say I forced you, but look who's desperate to behave like a wife now. And for your information, marrying you was the last option I had. You weren't my first choice, Wyatt. You were the very last option I had before I lost my everything I worked hard for to my stepbrother. So don't think I was to marry you. It was just a sacrifice I had to make to get what rightfully belongs to me, to get for which I had worked hard day and night. And the marriage you were raving about? It's just for the show. You will get the contract papers of this marriage within a week. A contract stating you are my wife only for six months. After that, I would be free from you, you from this forced marriage. Don't worry, you would be paid a handsome amount for this six months. So get up and go to guest room, which would be your room for the next six months. I'm tired. Let me sleep. He stated all this while she looked at him with wide eyes. Like marriage, as if it's an outdated outfit for you. 
He shook his head. Wrong wagon. I am disrespecting it like an old outfit which caused very bad allergic reaction to my body. So I am using that outfit with precautions, afraid to get hurt again. And a woman like you don't have any right to call me disgusting because trash cannot say the river is dirty. Be in your limits, wagon. Just because I have put a ring on your finger after my contract bride ran away, it doesn't mean you have an upper hand on me. No, Miss Lee, never. I am not some weak dog whom you treated and now he should serve his loyalty to you while being cased by you. Don't be in this kind of delusion. Your finance still depends on me, like it did till today morning, like it did till t yesterday. So be careful with your actions. It would be a lie if she said his harsh words didn't hurt her. You had planned so much things beforehand, but you did not think it necessary for me to know about this marriage being a contract. Did it come to your mind that I have an old father to take care of? What will I tell him now? Guess what, Vayan? That's none of my concerns. You have taken much more big decisions in your life without consulting anyone. I have just followed your path. It's not like you will be lying to uncle for the first time, right? You have kept him in dark numerous times. Kept him in dark. Don't try to act like an innocent girl you never were. Please spare me from this drama of yours. Oh please, I am talking to you very nicely. If there was any other man in my place, he would have done the things you can't even imagine. Be thankful that because of my grandpa's upbringing, I am not crossing my limits. Neither I did four years ago. Worst things. What had remained now? It's true you gave me a job when I was in dire need of it. But then, then you have kept destroying my self-esteem unnecessarily every day. Still doing so. If this is your civil behavior, then... She stopped midway to take a breath. He greeted his teeth, hearing her words and clenched his fist. My behavior is much more civil than yours. Now his words made her angry. She looked into his eyes with her burning ones while coming two steps closer to him. Oh really? Then tell me which civil man forces another woman to marry him after his so-called bride ran away? Which civil man makes a sacred bond like marriage a mere contract? Which civil man always insults his ex girlfriend despite her not having any fault? No sooner than she uttered those words, a gap had except her mouth. After all, he marched towards her in split of seconds and pinned her towards the wall, harshly pressed her towards the wall while grabbing her shoulder, his burning eyes boring daggers to hers.
my bad why am i asking this after all you seem to be so eager to be a real wife he leaned towards her lips and she turned her head away you very well know this is not what i was implying oh really but why i do feel you are lying now your previous words were indicating this only you lying naked on my bed She looked at him with her burning gaze. I never knew you would be this much perverted. Stay away from me, Mr. Kim. Stay away from me. I was saying I don't want to be your contract wife. Then how could you assume there would be any physical intimacy between us? Never knew you would be this much cheap. She pushed him away from himself which he didn't resist. She then started to go from there but halted hearing his words. I was talking to you right so I needed to become cheap. After all I needed to be at your level to talk to you right and you want to know real disgusting thing about me? It was always me who made fire you from your works to the point when no one was able to accept you as an employee. so that you didn't have any option but to work for me according to my condition why in turned around and looked at him with wide and eyes snatched every opportunity you have to grow as an individual i did but this wedding wasn't planned i never thought to marry you today You know what? I will not stay a minute longer here under the same roof as you. I will not. I hate you, Mr. Kim. I hate you. I regret having a past with you. Seeing this, she stormed out of his house whereas he laid out a dry chuckle. Go away and go. Don't think that I will come behind you. I will not go after you cause the feeling is mutual. Why can very much mutual. I am disgusted by you. I freaking hate you. Breathing heavily, he stayed while four years back instant came flashing back to his mind. 